Hello, uh, we want to welcome you to today's program. Uh, this is Local Government 101, and this is a new program started by the City of Fredericksburg to uh, better acquaint our citizens about local government, their city government, how it operates, uh, some of the major issues facing the city, and just to give you an overall background on the City of Fredericksburg uh, government functions. So today what I want to do is, uh, first off, my name is Kent Myers, I'm the city manager, and I just want to give you a broad overview of the structure of the city government and uh, some other important uh, information. And then in subsequent programs, we will dive into some of the details about certain programs and services. We'll have our department heads that will be on future programs. And um, following your viewing of this, if you have any questions or if you have any recommendations on future programs, please contact Lee Foggy, our public information officer here at City Hall. So first off today, what I'd like to do is just give you an overview of how the City of Fredericksburg government is structured. And uh, our, first off, I think as citizens, you need to understand that our government is um, developed as a result of a city charter. It was approved by local voters years ago, and the charter has been amended over the years. But that charter uh, has the structure of our council and uh, our, our city as a council manager form of government. And that is, it is a combination of a city council elected by the voters here to two year terms. Uh, and uh, that includes the mayor and four council members. And then the mayor and council uh, in turn selects the city manager. Uh, the council is responsible for policy decisions involving the city. They meet on a regular basis twice a month. In addition, they have special meetings. And again, they make policy decisions that have to do with ordinances, zoning changes, approval of the budget, and so forth. Uh, the management responsibility of the city is, uh, uh, again, the responsibility of the city manager, who is appointed by the city council. And under the city manager are the various department heads who are responsible for managing the day-to-day -day operations of their individual departments. The city of Fredericksburg is a full-service city, and what I mean by full-service is we provide most of the basic services that you see from, the, uh, from municipal governments. Uh, that includes the basic services such as police and fire, uh, finance, we offer parks and recreation, street and so forth. But in addition to that, we offer all utility services, including water, wastewater, electrical and uh, uh, solid waste. So, so these are all uh, part of the full service functions of the city. And I might add a lot of these services are provided seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year, uh, and uh, 24 hours a day. For example, uh, electric water crews are available 24 hours a day. Of course, our emergency services are provided 24 hours a day. Some of our non-traditional services that you don't see other gov city governments provide, uh, we own and operate our own golf course. Uh, currently, that's being operated by a private company, Touchstone Golf, but we have our own golf course. We also, as part of our park system, we operate market plots outside of City Hall here. And we also operate the uh, Fort Martin Scott, the historic fort here. So uh, once again, we have a full array of services that we provide the public. Our budget is uh, developed on an annual basis. Uh, we have just started the new fiscal year here in the city, which starts October 1st. Our budget was approved in September and a lot of discussions on the budget throughout the summer. And finally, the budget is approved along with the property tax rate. That budget is available on the city's website if you would like to access that. And again, that's www.fbgtx.org. So feel free to access the website for our budget and other information on the city. I wanted to touch uh, briefly on a couple of major projects that we're involved in currently. And once again, in future uh, Local Government 101 programs, we'll get into some of these projects in a little more detail. Uh, just just a, an overview. Um, this year, during the coming year, we'll be involved in a lot of water and wastewater projects. And this is due to the growth of the city, as well as some of our infrastructure that's getting very age, uh, very old uh, that needs to be replaced or upgraded. So we've got a lot of water and wastewater projects. We're going to continue to improve our sidewalks during the coming year. Uh, we have budgeted money along with the county to help support the development of soccer fields at our sports park. 
Uh, we're starting to work on plans for a new police station on Friendship Drive. And uh, in addition, we're working with the Convention and Visitors Bureau to expand the Visitor Center. And we're also looking at developing some parking facilities in the downtown area. We've had a real increase in the uh, visitor traffic downtown. So that is a major project we will uh, get underway this year. We're also in the process of doing a number of major annexations as the city grows. We have a, num a number of uh, property owners wanting to come into the city. And we also have some involuntary annexations that we're involved in currently. I want to um, uh, mention just a couple of things in closing today. Uh, first off, I want to make sure you as citizens understand that because of the demand on the city, uh, one of the key uh, elements of our success here is the cooperation we have with other organizations. In other words, we can't do everything on our own. So we tend to rely on our relationships with other entities. For example, the county, the city and the county cooperate on a lot of different services. We have uh, the Chamber of Commerce, the Convention and Visitor, Visitors Bureau, our EDC, Economic Development Commission. These are all outside organizations that cooperate with the city in providing the services that we provide throughout the year. Uh, another important entity is TxDOT. Uh, we work very closely with TxDOT officials in terms of maintaining and upgrading our major roadways through the city. In closing today, one of the keys to city government is citizen involvement. And I want to encourage all of you to, if you're not already involved in, in the city, to become involved during the coming year. Uh, some areas of involvement that we offer our citizens, first off, is participating in our municipal elections. We have an election every May, and in order to participate, you have to be a registered voter, so please get registered. We encourage you to attend city council meetings, uh, which are held the first and third Mondays of each month. If somehow you are not able to attend the meetings, we are also streaming our meetings now, so you can watch our council meetings. And we, so we encourage you to either show up or at least view our city council meetings. We have volunteer opportunities available with the city on our boards and commissions, like our planning and zoning commission. Uh, we also have volunteer opera, uh, opportunities for special events and festivals that are available. For example, we had the Food and Wine Festival coming up later in October. There's uh, volunteer opportunities for people to uh, spend a couple hours helping out for that festival. So in closing, I want to encourage you as a residents of Fredericksburg to get involved, uh, to volunteer, and help to support the city. I hope that today's Local Government 101 has provided you some useful information. And again, in future programs, we'll dive into more specifics on the programs and services provided by the city of Fredericksburg. But thanks for tuning in today and have a great week.